Hello folks, welcome back. In this section, we are going to talk about Ansible Vault. Ansible Vault is a feature of Ansible that allows you to keep the sensitive data such as passwords or keys in encrypted files rather than as a plain text in playbooks or roles. So Ansible Vault is one of the feature of Ansible which will help us to protect our sensitive data. Sensitive data nothing but it may be a passwords or keys or some other information which you should not expose to others. Let's take an example that you would like to connect to your GitHub. But while connecting to your GitHub, either you need to provide username and password or your keys should be passed to enable the passwordless authentication. In these kind of situations, we cannot keep our sensitive data within the playbook because we may need to share our playbook with others which will create a problem. So to overcome these kind of problems, we are going to use Ansible Vault. This is one of the future to encrypt our data while using Ansible. All your Vault commands starts with Ansible Vault. While running our playbooks, we use Ansible playbook, right? Similar way, Vault commands starts with Ansible Vault. We have few commands to encrypt our data, decrypt our data, view our data. Let's see what are those. Assume that you are creating a new file and you would like to encrypt your data. Then we can use Ansible Vault Create. So this will help us to encrypt our data while creating our file. And also please remember that while using Ansible Vault, we need to protect our files with passwords. And we should remember those passwords. Otherwise, even we cannot able to open those files. So if you want to create your file with the encrypted format, then we can use create option. Next view. View command is to see the data in the encrypted file. So in above step, we have created a file. Now I would like to see the data. Then we should use Ansible Vault view. Similar way, edit. We want to edit the file which we created in the first step. Then we cannot use the VA or some other medium to edit it. We should go with the Ansible Vault edit. If you open by cat or VA option, it will show as a encrypted format. It looks like a ASCII file. Then encrypt. Assume that you have created a file, but it has some sensitive data. Now you would like to encrypt that file. Then we can use the encrypt option. This is to create a file with encrypted format. This is to convert your file into encrypted format. Next decrypt. Decrypt is the option to convert your file as a normal file, which is in the encrypted format. Assume that we have created a file in encrypted format. Now we are not keeping any sensitive data. We have updated our playbook. Now there is no sensitive data. Then there is no point of keeping it in encrypted format. So we can decrypt it. Even same thing applicable for the encrypted file. Okay. So these are the, so these are the commands which we can use to encrypt and decrypt our data using Ansible Vault. Now, if we want to use this encrypted format file while running our Ansible playbook, we need to pass this password. But it won't ask for password directly. We need to use a option called Ask Vault Pass. So this is the option we should use. Whenever we provide this option, it will prompt for password. If we provide that password, it takes that password and decrypt the file. And we have one more option that is Vault Password file. So this will be helpful for us to pass the password through a file. We are going to see these two options. So let's jump into our Ansible server and check it out these commands. So I'm on my Ansible server and I have logged in as a ANS admin. Now I would like to create a file in encrypted format. Then we are going to use a command called Ansible Vault Create. Okay, Ansible Vault create is a command to create a new file in encrypted format. I'm creating a file called. So I'm creating a file called vault pass.yml. Let's create it. Now you can see here it is prompting for password. I'm giving a password abc123. Again, same abc123. A file has been opened in encrypted format. Now we can write our data. This is encrypted file. Okay. So just I'm giving some data. I wantedly giving a typo over here so that we can come and edit this file again. Let's save this one. And uh, if you see now there is a file called vaultpass.yml. Let's open this one. I'm using cat. So if you use cat, you cannot able to see the data. 
Why? Because it is in encrypted format. Now, what is the command we should use to view the data? That is where Ansible vault view vault pass dot yml. Now you can see it is asking for password abc123 and you can see actual data. So this is how we can protect our sensitive data. So whoever knows this particular password, only they can able to view this data. Now assume that I want to modify this file because I have given the typo over here. In this case, we are going to use ansible vault edit. Okay, this is the command followed by your file name. So this will help you to edit your file. Now this file has been opened in edited mode and I'm going to change it. So I'm just replacing my word. I'm just replacing it to encrypted and uh, save this file. Now again, if I want to view, if I do cat, still I cannot able to see the data, but we have updated this file, right? So you can see this ASCII value has been changed. Okay. Now let me open this file again by using view command. So again, I could see the data clear. So this is how we can use. Now assume that it doesn't have any sensitive data. I would like to decrypt this file. Then we can use a command called ansible vault decrypt followed by your file name. So it asks for password. What is the vault password? If you provide that password, it is going to decrypt. Now let me open this file with the cat. I can see the data. Now assume that again I have added some password. Let me add some password. VI vault pass password ansible123. Now I have kept some sensitive data in this file. And if I open this one, you can see it is having password ansible123. Now I would like to encrypt this file back. Then ansible vault encrypt followed by your file name. Okay. So then again it asks for password that is abc123 abc123. Now again it has been encrypted. Let me open this file now. You can see the data is encrypted now. To see ansible vault view followed by file name abc123 okay so this is how your ansible vault does work usually whenever we encrypt any file that password should be shared with the team because we don't know who is going to use that ansible playbook so we keep these passwords in a common location where our team get access okay that is how ansible vault works Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.